Got a 2003 Honda Accord with a V6. Gonna do rear brake pads and rotors and calipers. These calipers are frozen and they're squeaking when you back up. Going This side's free, the other side's not. So I'm gonna replace the calipers and might as well do the brakes so I got it apart, okay? So first thing you wanna do is break your lug nuts loose, jack the vehicle up and support it properly so it doesn't fall on you, okay? And you get the tires off, then you wanna get these retainer screws out to hold the rotor on. And if you got an impact driver, you know, and when you hit with a hammer, that'd be cool. All right, this is what I'm talking about, impact driver. Remember, you put it on there, make sure you turn it. Turn it the direction you want it to go, okay? See if I can watch you a little bit here. Huh. Oh, you gotta turn it the direction you wanna go, and then you're gonna hit it with your hammer, all right? Because you gotta turn it the direction you want it to go. If you don't, then it's gonna go the other direction, okay? Okay, got them out, and that's what they look like. All right. Next thing you wanna do is remove the caliper. It's got two caliper bolts and they're a 12 millimeter head. One here and one here. Okay. <clears throat> and you get them off and you can work your caliper off. Okay. You might have to use a little screwdriver and plus the line might be retained up somewhere they have to take the bolt off to get that out so you be able to pull this caliper more out okay so i'll have to remove that bolt okay that one is goes on that line see the hole for the line all right that one's a that one's a 12 millimeter head of bolt okay take that one out now you can should have enough room to pull this caliper out further. Okay, it's off. All right. Next, you want to remove is caliper bracket, and those are 14s that go on the back. There's two of those also. Okay. Let's see if you can see them. Yep, they're right there. Right there. Okay, one here, one here, and one down there. Hopefully you can see them, all right? We'll take those out and I'll break them loose. There's the two bolts, the 14 millimeter head. Here's your caliper bracket. If you're just gonna do brakes, instead of replacing everything, then you gotta make sure that the caliper slide pin is free. Both of them. You want to take them out and put some silver in them. Okay. And you want to take off your abundant clips right here, hardware. Pull them off, and then you want to clean the surface inside to get all the rust off of it. It's nice and shiny. And then paint it. And when it's dry, you can put your new clips on there. Okay. Okay. Now I got to remove the rotor. Rotor's on there a little bit, not loose. So what you want to do is you're going to grab your hammer, three pound slice, 36 ounce, sorry, I guess. And you want to hit it. Okay, that's it. If you're reusing the rotor, then you don't want to hit the, the rotor surface. Okay. All right, just wiggle it. There's no parking brake shoes in here because the parking brake is in the caliper. Okay, so now we got that all apart. Now you want to clean this hub up. You want to get the rust out of there. You want to get it nice and shiny, but you don't want to remove any metal. You just want to clean it up. Okay, because you got high and low spots. Rust is the high spot. No rust is the low spot. And you get that and your rotor wobbles like that if you don't clean it off, okay? Then it gives you a bake, uh, brake problem. All right, do that next. Okay, 
get the hub cleaned up. All right, usually I put some anesthes on there, but I'm gonna do that before I put the rotor on. But now we're going to remove the caliper, okay? But the first thing you're gonna need is your uh, hose pinchers, your brake line pinchers. You know, special tool that pinches the brake lines. Or if you don't have one, you don't know those vice grips, small ones. Just, just enough to pinch them to restrict the flow. You don't wanna collapse it. You just wanna pinch it off a little bit. Okay, okay I put the needle nose vice grips on the flex brake hose. You don't wanna put it on the metal. I'm gonna put it on a rubber one, okay? And next we wanna take off our brake line, okay? It's a 14 millimeter banjo bolt. What I did was I took the cap and I slid it from here down to here. That's why it's hanging down there, just so I can get more room to work with, okay? So we're gonna remove that banjo bolt and we're gonna let the caliper drain. Okay, I got the brake line off. This is the banjo bolt. It's a bolt that's hollowed out. Okay. And then next we'll do is the brake line. No, not brake line. <laughs> the parking brake cable. Okay. So you gotta get a pair of uh, needle nose so you can remove this clip. And there's the clip. Okay. And just like most of these, they are frozen in there. So what you need to do is put some pinchering on, let it sit, and then <clears throat> pull that cable out of that bracket. And then you unhook it from the, the adjuster, okay? But you gotta get it out of that bracket right there first. Okay. It's frozen in there pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll get a die grinder with a cutoff wheel on it. And I'll cut this bracket right here. And that way I can twist this rest of it off. And that line that come that brake that brake cable come right out of there. They ended up replacing them half the time anyway, so it's a reman caliper. So don't tell anybody. Yeah, cut it. And then you can hit it with a hammer or you can just get a pair of pliers and bend it off of it. See? See there it is. Now guess what? Comes right off of that. Oh, you get the idea. Now you can get it off that parking brake lever, okay? Okay, you got the caliper off. Match it up to the new one. Make sure it's exactly the same. And you wanna do is get your 12 millimeter socket and take off the bracket, the copper bracket. Remember those are 12 millimeter heads. First piece that's gonna go on is this and then that. So what we're gonna do is take the caliper over there and mount our uh, parking brake cable and put our clip in there to hold it, retaining clip, okay? And you wanna take out the plug for the banjo bolt. And then you need to put your spring inside there also. So you wanna match it up to the old one and how it looks, okay? Put it in the same way that one is. Okay, a new clip, you push it in over here and then you push this side down and it clips right in there, okay? I'll put some paint on my caliper brackets where my abundant clips go, the hardware, okay? And it'll help keep it from rusting because when it rusts, rust expands and when it expands against the pads, it causes the pads to freeze up so they don't move and release they stay applied okay okay i push my clips in there they're good okay i'm gonna go mount my caliper remember put it through here first and pull on it and put it back in through there because you pull on it and then you can slip it in there okay okay a little insight See the bracket? It's not completely round. It's got a flat spot on it right here. And the cable has a flat spot on it too. So when you put the cable through here and you pull on it to push that thing through, make sure you put the flat spot on the cable around this part here, okay? And then also clean off the cable around on here where it goes in here because 
got rust on it and clean it up and get all the rust off so it slides in there a little bit easier, okay? Okay, this is how it looks like, all right? Kind of clip in there, and it's in there pretty good. Okay, next you're gonna put some anesthes on here and put your rotor on. If you've got a new rotor, make sure you clean up the surface of it with soap and water, degreaser, or glass cleaner. Do not use brake clean, okay? Okay, a fine film of anti-seize, not a rotor. Okay, the rotor is on. Make sure you put your retaining screws back in if you got them. And next we're gonna put on the caliper bracket, okay? Okay, get the caliper bracket in there and get your bolt started. Remember those are the ones the 14 millimeter head? Okay, and then snug them up and then tighten them up to 45 foot pounds. And you might wanna double check my torque specs. Okay. Okay, next you wanna do is put your brake pads in there. The squeak indicator goes on the bottom, which is the direction of the rotor, okay? So it hits that first. I'll push it in there and grab the other pad. It doesn't have it. Put them in there. Make sure you put them in the right direction, the pad towards the rotor, not the metal towards the rotor, okay? Then you wanna put your caliper on there and then get your caliper bolt started. Okay, get the caliper over here, over it. Have your bolts ready in hand, the 12 millimeter head ones. Push down on the caliper and make sure you get the, the pin slides pushed in so the caliper can go past it because otherwise they stick out and you can't get the caliper on. So when you get the caliper in here, you push it down because you're pushing against the spring, against the, sh the pads. So you can line these up and get them started, snug them up and then torque them down to 20 foot pounds and double check your torque specs, okay? And then you wanna get your line ready, you wanna make sure your O-rings aren't on there, okay? And then get your banjo bolts and put the new O-rings on them, okay? And then you can line up your bracket for your hose goes through this piece over here, remember? Over there. And put the bolt in it and get it started. Tighten it up in that one on the inside here. Okay, you got your banjo bolt, washer, line, washer. And get the new washers, copper washers with your caliper, okay? Snug it up and tighten it up. Okay, like 14 foot pounds. Not very much, it's a hollow bolt, but make sure it's tight. Okay, always double check your torque specs. I'm just giving you ballparks, okay? Okay, your brake line is on. It's torqued and ready to go. Next, remove your, your clamp. And then come over here and loosen up your bleeder screw. That's a 10 millimeter. And what you want to do is you want the gravity bleed. I have my master cylinder with the cap off, so that will help with gravity bleed. So I'll let it gravity bleed. And when I see no more bubbles coming out and it's tripping pretty good, I'll tap on the caliper with the hammer. The vibration knocks off the little bubbles stuck inside the uh, cylinder where the piston is, and then it comes out to the top, okay? So then when you get no more bubbles out, you want to close the bleeder and you want to lower the vehicle down and you want to push the puddle to the floor a couple times and then double check your fluid level, raise it back up and then open the bleeder up and finish bleeding it again until you see no bubbles come out. And if you want to flush the brake line system with the fluid, just keep letting it drip and keep filling it up. But other than that, this is how you do uh, rear brake pads and rotors with calipers, okay? So good luck. If I give you any help, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, that's awesome. I really appreciate it. I do this all on my time, spare time to help you guys out. And thank you. Okay.
And don't forget to put your tire on and torque them to 90 foot pounds, okay? When you got it all down on the ground, make sure you pump your pedal. Make sure you have a good pedal before you go putting it in drive or reverse. Okay, because I don't want you driving through the garage door or the wall or hitting somebody. Okay, safety. All right, and don't forget to put your reservoir cap back on your master cylinder. Good luck.